Rain Brothers here, rainbrothers.com. Today I'm going to go over uh, unboxing your Springer traditional pump and installing it into our floating intake sleeve assembly. Now this would be uh, the, the same, same setup as our Springer series automatic pump as well. If we pull the pump out of the box, you're going to notice a few things. First, how nice and sleek it is. <laughs> Second, you'll notice this plastic uh, fitting right here. This is actually if you decide to do a, uh, if you don't want to do a floating intake sleeve, you can simply uh, stick this pump on the sleeve. There's a couple enclosed screws to screw this to the, the base of the pump. This will elevate this intake off the floor of, this, of your water tank or cistern. And this would be appropriate for a hauled water cistern where you're getting uh, public filtered water put into your cistern. It's already clean. You don't need to worry about a floating intake for that. If you're using it for irrigation, um, and, and if you just want to save money, you don't have to do a floating intake assembly. You can just use this pump stand to elevate that intake off the floor of your cistern. If you're going to do the floating intake, though, you're going to keep this, this stand off. And you'll notice the stainless steel screen. And there's two Phillips head screws holding this stainless steel screen onto the pump. You're simply going to remove these two screws to take off this stainless steel assembly. Okay, so I remove the second screw here. And this will expose the inside framework of this pump and it will allow for uh, full flow into the into the base of the pump now if you don't use the filter intake the floating intake you will want to make sure to keep this screen on because this will keep uh, large debris from getting sucked into the pump and doing damage to the pump once this intake screen is off on the floating intake assembly, you're just going to slide it in to the base and then use a uh, 5 16 hex head to secure this uh, Fernco fitting, not only, to the pump, not only to the pump itself, but also to the, to the floating intake base. Now that's nice and secured. Now you have uh, full flow from this uh, inch and a quarter barb fitting into that intake on the pump. So it is ready to receive your flexible Tiger Flex piping and the floating intake YZ course uh, floating intake filter. Now the, the last step in, in putting this in aside from uh, plumbing into the top of the pump, and in this case, there's an inch and a quarter female uh, national pipe thread threading in the top of the pump. So you'll plumb out of there. But the, the, the other final step is uh, tethering this float switch to the body of the pump. And the reason we want to tether it is if, if we just leave it, it has a very wide swing in the operation. You want to either tape it or zip tie it with about four inches of cord exposed. You want to tape it or zip tie it to the body of the pump. That way the swing is much tighter to the pump body and that will allow for a, a better installation. You want to make sure that you secure this opposite side of the uh, floating intake tube so that this doesn't or get tangled up or interfere with that, uh, that Tiger Flex piping. Um, so with this secured, then you have uh, the um, in, the, in the upward position, the pump will be operational. When the water level starts to dip, your pump will shut down as it should so that there's no risk of running dry. Now the last step, uh, the other, other, other last step in this process is, is uh, fitting the Tiger Flex onto this barb adapter and then onto your floating intake ball. Uh, we went over that in, the, in another video, um, so I won't detail it here, but uh, the one thing I will note is that it is helpful to set this Tiger Flex out in the sun for about an hour. And doing that will soften this considerably and it will make it so that this, uh, this intake assembly it doesn't um, 
remember this this shape it will it will more easily fall as the water level in your cistern drops so setting this in the sun for about an hour will will do wonders to improving the um, effectiveness of this inside the tank hopefully this has been helpful and thank you so much for watching and as always all these products are available on our website www.rainbrothers.com